All right. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Lars. Um, I'm a student here at Geek uh, Game Programming. Uh, what we made for the SETI uh, Game Jam was uh, a game that focused more on the last part of the uh, Drake's equation, which is uh, how long a civilization is detectable. Um, what we thought would be fun if, uh, was if the uh, aliens already knew about us, but we didn't know about them, and they, they are constantly taking precautions not to be discovered by us. So uh, what we originally thought our game would be was uh, you walking around like an alien and uh, kind of corrupting SETI data and uh, planting fake data. So if you, as you can see here, when you move up the computer, you fake some data. Uh, this is uh, basically everything we have of the game so far. But uh, yeah. uh, what we want to see uh, if we develop this game further it's kind of like typical well, typical alien uh, technology like uh, teleportation, maybe some uh, mind games or something like that. So uh, I don't think we have any more mechanics that we plan on using other than those. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the technology, uh, we're using uh, OpenGL mostly. We're using SDL to create the window, but all the rendering, all the shadows, the, the textures, they're all done on OpenGL using shaders. And uh, yeah, there's not much more we used in terms of technology. Just Visual Studio and uh, Smart Tools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We used Pickle, uh, what's the 2D program we used to kind of make the animation? Yeah, so I have one right now. I took yeah. uh, I crafted all the computers so I won the game. Mm -hmm. So you have one level preferred and then as yeah. soon as you uh, corrupt all the computers you, you won. Yeah. But if we wanted to implement another scene, uh, we could just make the scene, make the tiles, like textures, and decide where the tiles will be and it would it should just load like any other mm -hmm. yeah. scene. Yeah, the game is uh, it's the system behind it. It's made to be modular, so you can add things and remove things. So it's supposed to be easy to expand and improve on. Okay. Also, what I forgot to say, it's uh, another key part of the entire game is that you, you can't be seen, obviously, mm -hmm. because then the gig would be up. So uh, we actually have modules and almost had the animations done for guards, but mm -hmm. uh, seeing as we ended up just being two, the uh, Implementation of guards moving around trying to detect you were. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> so you have to walk around avoiding the, the guards? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Indeed. you basically have to stay out of their, their line of sight. And if you, uh, you walk too near, they will shoot you. In mm -hmm. which case, this animation will play. <laughs> so you'll die. Um, yeah, so you can play around with the game. You can make cameras, other types of detection. Basically, it would whatever you like, mm -hmm. and uh, make, in the end it will be a puzzle game. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Questions? Yeah, it looks quite a lot of uh, background technologies already there.